Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the new Darren Aronofsky film, Mother! Exclamation point. Des, what did you think? I hated it. <laughs> Here's the thing. I knew from the trailer that this is just not my movie. This is not my movie. And I tried to get out of it by saying that I'll go if they get nominated. Because there's buzz. You know, there's buzz. Always buzz. So... Uh, I got talked into going because, here's why, because last year I had to buy a movie in order to see it mm -hmm. before the um, um, awards, Oscars, yeah. because it got nominated, so I had to buy it, because the only way for me to see it was to purchase it, and I am not purchasing this movie, it. I knew I did not want to purchase this movie. Wouldn't that be horrible? Oh, yes! That's what the whole reason I went. Okay, this movie... It's just, uh, actually, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was no, going to be. No, it really isn't that scary. It was, has a little, there's a little blood, gory thing part of it, but, which is not my favorite. But it wasn't as horror-y as the trailer made it look like it was going to be. And Black Swan was way worse than this, in that way, to me. Who, he's, it's the same director. Indeed. So I kind of thought that that would be a similar thing. But then we got into this movie and it was just a downward spiral the whole time. It just gets worse and worse and it goes to absurd lengths and it just, it was, it was unenjoyable. There was no enjoyment. I kind of liked uh, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's. She was interesting to watch and the beginning of the movie was way more interesting than the mm -hmm. end of the movie when it really goes off the rails. I do not recommend it. I don't think you should waste your time. And I wish I hadn't. What do you think? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, here's what I was telling Des earlier. Yeah. I, I, like I like, yeah. don't like any movie or book or TV show or music or anything like that, any art, where the whole entire time they're just trying to show me how smart they are. I get it, Darren Aronofsky. You're an intelligent person. Uh, but I don't need you to constantly tell me like look at this super cool intelligent thing i did aren't i smart aren't i smart and that's how this movie felt to me like all right i get it i get it i get it i get it your allegory i get the biblical references i get yeah. the mother nature the mother earth i get all this kind of stuff but this film is not enjoyable that is right it's just not like oh, i really enjoyed that like no i didn't enjoy it <laughs> uh and some movies can i think some movies can be really smart like Look at, you know, some stuff that Martin Scorsese does, and even I would argue even Woody Allen does. They're intelligent, but it doesn't have to hit you over the head all the time, like, look how smart I am, look how smart I am. It can still be fun and yeah. enjoyable and yes. good. Um, and the acting was fine. Yeah. I really liked, I liked Michelle Pfeiffer a lot, and Ed Harris was good, and I love Javier Bardem. He's always really good. Yeah. He, has, he has a little creepiness to him naturally. Yes, and so it's true. like, ooh, Javier. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> And Jennifer Lawrence, who is usually, I like Jennifer Lawrence, but this is kind of a one-note performance. I think that's what she's going for, is to be like this, like, with, withdrawn kind of person. Yeah. But it was a little too, like, there were times when she's the only one really in it, and it well, lags. It because, really stays on her the whole time. Yeah. Like, the camera just follows her around. You need her to push yeah. a little more. Give me something. Get upset or do something. And she kind of does at the end, but it, then it seems so out of, like, oh. Why she like? Oh, I thought she was just this meek and mild just, girl, which I get. It maybe it's a statement, even on like some people are arguing like it's a statement on like the feminist idea of like women obviously being the ones like they take care of the house, and she literally takes care of the house. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, but still, it's just not enjoyable. That's the problem. So I probably wouldn't recommend it either. I'd say if you are the biggest Darren Aronofsky fan, okay, go see it. <laughs> uh, I know some people who saw it and liked it. Who? I, I want you. names. I told you. I need to Former I don't students, remember. remember. I don't remember. You're going to tell me yes, afterwards. You do. I really don't. But, uh, but that's okay. I mean, everyone, you can like it if you want to like it. That's not a problem. We just did not enjoy it. And my sisters did not enjoy it. They went inside also. My sister. <laughs> they did not. My sister, Cammy, said it is the worst movie she has ever seen. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, and I will say that before, when it had just been in previews and just like, People who like Darren Aronofsky went and saw it. Yeah. It was like at a 94% approval from viewers. I think now it's at 
32. Yeah. So it has sure. plummeted. Not done so well. Anyway, I say pass on my Yeah, name. pass. Sorry about that. Yeah. But look for look for Michelle to get, gain some buzz, maybe, because she for sure is the best thing about the movie. She, yeah, absolutely. And when she leaves, the movie goes like, yeah. Yep. That's what we thought. Okay. Bye. Bye.